All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Dusty Wright with the Wright Team, Keller Williams Realty, St. George. Uh, today, I'm at a brand new home just being finished up. This one is uh, 2,411 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. It has the attached two-car garage and then the attached RV garage as well. Um, the two-car garage door is 18 feet wide by eight feet tall. And then the RV garage is 14 feet wide by 14 feet tall. And uh, has a little slope. You can see that exposed aggregate um, concrete a little bit better. These guys um, that uh, just came in to buy this one are one of the desert zero scape landscaping. And they're still doing a few touch-ups. So they didn't want the sconces on the front. They did the mini cans up in the eaves. It's a mixture of stone and stucco. And... It's got the double iron door and the big transom window above. All right, coming right in, you've got the wood look tile floor, the tall entryway, ceiling, and then down this hall, you've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. We'll go down there in a minute, but as you come straight ahead, you come into the great room um, it's got the uh, fireplace there and the cabinets and the shelves on either side, the hearth and the mantle, the coffered ceiling and up in the coffered ceiling it has the tongue and groove, and the ceiling fan and the can lights, two decent sized windows there. It's tough to tell right now, but that uh, mountain range um, gets snow on it during the winter months. It's Pretty nice little peekaboo view. And then um, over here is your kitchen. And you can tell the floor tile, porcelain wood look tile runs throughout the great room. It has the outlet there in the floor. And then over here, um, this is, uh, this counter, this cabinet stain is kind of has a grayish tint to it a little bit. And then it has the white quartz countertops um, versus some of the other videos we've done with a different look. but. Uh, Floor to ceiling, uh, has the granite composite sink, stainless steel appliances, uh, the cooktop over there uh, with the vented range hood that sucks the air up out. If you're cooking, this doesn't smoke up the house. Over here in the corner is the um, corner pantry. There is a light in there, I just don't have it turned on. And then you have your dining nook here has the shiplap wall and the encased window. You have your eight foot tall door that goes out to the back patio. It has the blinds built into it. And your pendant lights here. And then off of this dining nook and kitchen right here is this extra large pantry. And it has a little working countertop area for toasters, coffee makers, mixers, blenders, things like that. Tons of room here for storage. An outlet there if you want to plug in an additional fridge. And then coming off of the great room going this way, you have a linen closet here. You have your Nest thermostat. This is into the master bedroom. It has the eight foot tall doors. You come in, the master bedroom has the, it's a shiplap up there with the beams and then the crown molding up against that, and then the back wall there, or side wall rather, has the shiplap as well. And it's carpet in here in the bedroom. It's a three-tone paint. And you come into the master bathroom. Frosted glass, privacy window. You have the jetted tub with the travertine surround. And then you have um, two closets. Your other closet over here, very similar. And then this gives you a little better angle. So you have your double vanity with the quartz countertops. And then into the walk-in tile shower with the Euro glass door. Has the built-in niches in the wall there for 
soap and shampoo and all that good stuff. A little bench, mowing fixtures, and the tile goes to the ceiling. And then coming back around to the entryway, you have the uh, three bedrooms down this hall here. Uh, bedroom one is here. It's got the ceiling fan. There's a closet over here, a little walk-in closet. All right, off of that bedroom, you have this bathroom. You have the two linen cabinets there. And then you have your quartz countertops, your mowing fixture, your mirror, your toilet. And then you have the kind of oversized tub area there. And then the tile that runs clear to the ceiling. It's a horizontal pattern that has the silver travertine accent. And then coming up here towards the front of the home, you have another bedroom here. Once again, the bedrooms do have the carpet. They all have the ceiling fan with the dedicated switch. And then a walk-in closet. There's a light on, a light in there, and I don't have it turned on. And then across the hall, and while I'm right here, you can tell the doors are the six panel, eight foot tall doors throughout the home. And then in this uh, bedroom here. This is kind of like a little mini master. Um, has slightly taller ceilings, has two closets, has a space here that you can sometimes put in a little kitchenette if you want. And then this is an exterior door that goes out into the front entryway. And the entryway is, um, it comes out enough so that this door, you don't walk out and you're under the rain or anything. It, it does cover that. And then this goes into the kind of mini master bathroom area has the quartz countertops. These are the open shelves and it looks like it, uh, that uh, in order for that to work since their door doesn't open. You've got your mirror. And then your walk-in snail shower, tile shower that comes around. You don't need a door because it just wraps around and has a tile on the bottom. All right, and then coming this way off of the great room, you have your laundry room here. It has the recessed dryer vent, a couple cabinets above. It has the quartz countertop with the sink there. And there is still some room over here to store a few things. Your access to your attic. And then um, right here is to the garage. This is an area where a person can put a mud bench Here's the half bath with the pedestal sink. All right, and then of course, last but not least, we're into the garage. It has the saw cut concrete. This uh, two car garage is approximately just about 26 feet deep, 18 feet wide by uh, eight foot tall door, the LiftMaster MyQ. And then into the well, before we get to the RV garage, you have your water heater here. Uh, it's plumb for a water softener, plumb for a recirculation pump. And then into the big dog, the RV garage door, 14 by 14. The ceilings in here are approximately 16 feet tall. It has the LiftMaster MyQ garage door opener. And it also has the saw cut floor. It has the sewer clean out there, the hose bib there has the 30 amp and the 50 amp over here. Um, a fair number of outlets throughout the walls. Up above here, uh, that's the pantry. And then on the back of the house, I'll show you, there's a little storage area for yard supplies and things. This is uh, approximately 50 um, feet deep here. And then of course over here on the side, this is the man door that goes out to the side. We'll take you out there real quick. All right, coming over here, um, you do have a little space for some parking. You have the block walls. Um, you have a hose bib here. You got the block walls on, privacy walls on all three sides. Pretty decent sized backyard for our area at least. And then this is that um, little storage closet that I was telling you about. It does have uh, light you can put up there. 
And then there's an outlet in here and it's got the concrete. And it has the floodlight there. Covered patio. It is stu uh, stubbed there for your barbecue. It's got an outlet there. And then during certain times of year, that mountain there has snow and it's good views. So yeah, all in all, 2,411 square feet, four bed, three and a half bath, two car attached with the RV garage. If you have any questions, give me a call. Best you're at with the right team, Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for watching.